Okay, so let's make the yin yang symbol in Adobe Illustrator. I'm using CC, but most recent versions should work. I'm using pixels as my uh, units. You can always change that if you have the ruler showing by right clicking on the ruler and choosing the units you want, or you can go to File, Document, Setup, change it to the units you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm just finding pixels easier to use for this and I'm just going to click once without dragging to get the ellipse dialog box and I have uh, constrained width and height proportions uh, locked here so I can just put in one set of units in this case I'm going to use 200 pixels to make a perfect circle and there's my 200 pixel diameter circle now I can make another circle to make the center dot because the white side has a black dot at center and the black side has a white dot in the center but I'm going to use a different method I'm going to say path offset path and with the offset path dialog box if I click preview you can see that it'll copy the path but 25 pixels bigger I want to do that in negative so if I was to do say negative 50 so that would be 50 and 50 together makes 100 if there's 200 that would be a 100 pixel diameter inner circle let's try it negative 85 good that'd make like a 15 pixel diameter circle so let's just say okay I have those two I know that the small circle is centered perfectly in the bigger one I could double check that with the align tools by making sure they're centered uh, horizontally and vertically but they are of course so let's select them both and go to object and group to make sure they stay that way so here's my group and I am going to copy that. I can either hold down my Alt or Option button while using my Move tool and click and drag, or I could just copy and paste it. However you get there, I want two of them. If I have my Smart Snapping on, I could probably just drag it like that. But uh, I'm going to use my Alignment tools. So now I need my bigger circle. So I'll get my Ellipse tool again. Click again to get that Ellipse dialog box. And now I want something that's going to be big enough for both of those. So since I started off with 200, I'm going to double it to 400. Say OK. There it is, my circle. 400 pixel diameter circle. Drag it up. Now I'll select this group and hold down Shift and get my larger circle. And I can do a, uh, with my align tool, I can say vertically align top and uh, center them both and I can take that group and shift click my big circle and make sure that it's vertically aligned bottom and I'll just select it all and just make sure they're all uh, aligned in the center there we go so that should be all there is to it as far as doing the construction and now I'm going to use the shape builder tool here so there's the shape builder tool and let me flip my stroke with to my fill like that and now I can start building my yin yang so if I click and drag I can make my black side if I just click here in the small circle I'll build a black shape there and now I will go to my swatches and change this to white and now I can go and click and drag here to make the white side and click in the center there to make a white dot there we go so now I have it and I can select it all and go back to object group again so I make sure that nothing gets moved around and now that I have that hold down shift to uh, constrain proportions and I shrink it down say okay so now I've got the yin yang anytime I want it I could uh, hold down my option to uh, to copy it again hold down shift to make it even smaller if I want and I could say go to my brushes drag it into my brushes if I set a pattern brush like that I could get a groovy uh, yin yang pattern going on all right so thank you hope this helps